Hi everyone, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website and I'm here today with the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, which is a new device from Samsung it's got a 5.3 inch Super AMOLED uh, HD Super AMOLED even display and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk very quickly about the S Pen and show you how this, um, how this is an innovative new uh, feature of the device and what you can do with the S Pen so uh, the, the special thing about the Galaxy Note is that it features the S Pen so if we turn the device over and you see here there's actually at the bottom uh, of the device is a pen which slots out um, it's kind of similar to a stylus um, that you'd find on some old PDAs and things like that but this is um, this is much more uh, than simply a stylus um, so this is a uh, pressure this is, you know this has got pressure sensitivity and you can do lots of um, drawings and you can do some very cool stuff uh, with it so first of all the one of the new applications in the Galaxy Note is called S Memo so I'm going to open up S Memo and then you see here just some of the drawings uh, that I've done recently but if I click on new memo and then what you can do is uh, well I can just start writing so I'm just going to go and choose a black pen and uh, well I'll write so there you go hello so the great thing about this is you can do handwritten notes so for example you're in meetings the problem is you don't want to really Get, the, get your phone out and then start using a keyboard to make notes. So with this, uh, using the S Pen, you can actually make notes you know, as, as you would, would like on paper. And then once you've made the notes, um, you can press, you can go to menu and you can do handwriting to text. And then what that, what that does is it will convert, so there you go, so it detects, I've said hello, and then uh, I can, I don't know if you can see it on there, but certainly it's just recognize the text and they'll digitize it all for me. So it's a really easy way to take notes and then to have them aut aut uh, automatically digitized, um, digitized if you know if I want it in text, you know, to search or whatever. Um, the other thing I can do is I can do free form notes. Um, so say for example, um, in if you say you're doing arts or graphics, you often want to do technical drawings. Uh, you have like you know things in 3D. Um, you know. The, this, these, are, these are kind of the concepts which are generally quite hard um, to get in on a mobile phone unless you can actually do it graphically. And the great thing about this is once you've actually jotted down what you want to do, obviously you can save it and you know you can change the colour of your pen to you know highlight different things. Um, you can so you can colour code your notes. Um, but once you've finished, you can actually just press menu, and then uh, you can press share via. And then the handwritten note they've just produced, you can send that via social hubs. So that'll go out to Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and so on. Um, you can send it via an M MMS text message. Um, you can upload it to Twitter, to Facebook, or you can send it straight away to one of your colleagues or one of your friends on Gmail. So it's a really easy way to explain concepts and then to share them straight away. Now, the, with the S Pen, uh, there's a lot more than just the memo application. So this is actually just integrated. Uh, throughout the entire interface. Um, so I'll show you some one, one of the things that you can do. So say I open up a web browser and um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the BBC News website. <coughs> so I'm going to have a look at the, uh, at the weather for today. So this is the BBC News uh, thing. So tonight is, um, it was actually bonfire night um, but uh, me and my friends want to organise a um, some fireworks or firework display in our garden at some point. So, you know, I, I kind of want to. What I want to do is I want to point out the fact that actually Sunday is actually quite a good day because Sunday it's not, you know, it's not going to rain on Sunday, whereas it will. Um, or the weather doesn't look so good on the other days. So what I can do is I can uh, if I press the button down here on the S Pen. It's probably quite hard to see on the video, but I just press that down. And hold it on the screen for a few seconds, and then what uh, what the Galaxy Note will allow me to do is it actually makes a screen writable. So now I can annotate it. So I can um, I can write onto just highlight this for one of my friends. In fact, I probably want to do that in red just to make it a bit easier. Um, so just circle that in red there. That's what I can undo and make it a bit neater. So circle this red. Um, looks. Good. 
and then uh, just like before I can press share via and then I can send this image via Facebook, uh, Google Mail, or MMS text message or however I like. So the idea is you know you can um, add, you can annotate documents such as PDFs, you can annotate pie charts, um, you can annotate web pages, you can annotate any any content that you can get up on the web on the on the device. You can annotate using the same gesture. Um, other things which are worth showing you about the S Pen is that um, you know it's not just a way to um, to draw. It's also a way that you can navigate through the device. So. I can, as you see, I can flick through all the menus as normal using the using the S Pen. Um, so this, this this display actually includes two technologies. The first is uh, the capacitive touchscreen. Um, so this is what detects the electric field of my finger, makes a very responsive touchscreen, means I can do things such as the pinch to zoom, and it feels you get a really nice experience uh, when you're using the touchscreen. The second is a inductive technology. So this is um, you know, it's electromagnetic resonance and so on, but this is how the pen works. Um, so it is two separate systems. Um, so one thing that's worth demonstrating is that if it does detect the pen, it will actually just ignore anything I do with my finger. So I put the pen on a device here. You see, uh, now I'm just, you know, I'm doing kind of doing all kinds of things with my fingers. And you see that, um, well, you see, I'm, I'm nothing, it's not actually detecting my fingers at all. I can, I want, I can press buttons or whatever nothing happens. Um, whereas now if I take the pen off and put my finger onto it, then I can actually now I can draw using my finger. Um, so the pen essentially overrides the uh, overrides the finger. Um, now the great thing about that is that um, you know it means when you're writing on the screen um, you can actually put your hand onto the screen and it doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so the other gestures you can do with the S Pen is there is a S Pen, there's a button on the S Pen, which is here. It's quite a small button, so you might not be able to see it. Um, but this is, the, this is the one that you use to do the screen capture and so on. If you double tap uh, anywhere in the interface, then this brings up kind of a, a way to make notes in line uh, without having to leave uh, what you're currently viewing. And then if you tap up here, you can go back to look at the content you were looking at before. Um, so maybe you're reading web page, you want to go back to web page, go back to make some more notes. Go back to read the web page. Go back to make some notes. You can save it as before. Um, if you hold down a button and you do up, <coughs> that's uh, that's equivalent to the menu button on Android. And if you hold the button again and you go to the left, that's back. So that's a back button. Um, so go to so go to applications and then just to the left, that's a back button. So other gestures um, on the device. So I, um, I can slide my hand across the screen like so. And what that does is that takes a screenshot of what I'm currently looking at um, and it will automatically you know, stick it in my gallery um, so I can then edit it later on. Um, I've used my S Pen or I can just send it straight away to a colleague or something. Um, also, if I'm watching video, so uh, let's open up the video player. Uh, where is it? Um videos so there we go so if I open up the video player and I start playing a video in fact this is one of the other nice things about the screen is it's it's a really bright display um, but say I'm watching a video just put my hand over it and you see the video is actually just stopped you know it's just paused music stopped playing and the actual video stuff stopped take my hand off and it starts again so that's a really nice gesture so you know lots of new gestures have been built um, into this device, basically to make it very easy to use. So there's gestures that use your hand, um, there's gestures which use S Pen. Um, so these are things that are worth playing with uh, when you get the Galaxy Note.